Hey guys, and welcome back to the Metro Park Zoo. Uh, second episode here. I know it's been absolutely ages since the first episode. I think the first episode was all the way back at the start of the year. Um, and sadly, that's just kind of what has to happen. Trying to incorporate YouTube into daily daily life. Uh, so unfortunately, it's just kind of had to take a back seat. But we're back, and that's all that matters. And in this part, we are doing a Warthog exhibit. Uh, kind of the start of the Africa area, which is going to be like the first major area in the Metro Park Zoo. Uh, not really a lot of finesse going in here. I kind of just didn't really have a plan going into this one and just kind of went with it as I saw fit. This is also recorded ages ago. Uh, on stream, uh, for those of you who don't know, we also stream. For those of you that, that haven't done this through stream, uh, we also stream this. And, uh, I've had a new zoo, uh, a stream exclusive zoo, building on uh, on Twitch, uh, where I've been practicing trying to make less rocks because I, I apparently really like rocks. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna see that here. I, I, I actually recently learned that you could duplicate rocks, so you didn't have to single place it. Uh, fortunately for you guys, uh, during this video, I did cut out all of the rock placing, or at least most of it. Uh, you'll see a nice little cut in the middle of this. But anyways, uh, this is going to be a warthog exhibit. It's going to be the start of kind of like an African rocks exhibit area. There's going to be a couple, probably about four or five animals in this area. Probably a nice food court, eating, guest resting area. And this is going to be the first major part. It's not too big of an exhibit. Uh, comes with a nice little African-esque little village that I kind of decided to use to use for their shelters. As well as connecting the back area to the rest of the staff area, which is probably going to finish off that staff area for now. I don't know if we're going to extend it past this to cover other parts of the rocks, but... There's going to be a lot of scenery work in this. This is going to try to be my goal to be my first really scenery inspired area that I've ever done and try to like base it around the environment and all that. So there's going to be a lot of work that goes into the surrounding area. Not so much in this part as this is kind of just the start of the exhibits and all that, but uh, it should be, it should be nice. Uh, I thought it came out nice. Uh, nice little simple warthog exhibit. I, I like the way it came out entirely. Uh, but yeah, not really much else to say about this. Uh, it's good to be back on YouTube. Uh, hopefully you guys didn't miss me too much. Uh, for those of you that are still around from the Zoo Tycoon days, hopefully uh, this is the last time I ever take a break. Hopefully we are back on steady YouTube content because I know part of you from the Twitch community have been on my ass about it because you want it. Uh, it's not going to be just uh, play at zoo work either, which is hopefully going to be really nice. Trying to bring that spice of variety life to uh, YouTube as well. And maybe we can get a couple of those. I think not the next video that goes up, but the one after that is actually not going to be playing at zoo. I think I have one more play at zoo video coming out. Should be next week. And then after that, brand new video. It's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to. Uh, to bring in, bring in the, bring in the shenanigans to, to YouTube. Sorry about the overlays, the voice overlays too, because the voice overlays, I'm not used to talking uh, over, over a video. It's going to take a lot to get used to. Uh, but if you can see in the video right now, we, I'm trying very desperately to figure out how I want to do the, the, uh, the village. For the warhogs i just did it really simply uh just two little standard huts that just put the pieces together put them up uh, i thought it'd be a nice touch i want to start incorporating more scenery into my exhibits as well it's not something i do a lot i know in for those of you that have been watching the twitch series in big river zoo i've been incorporating animal houses and keeper areas more into my exhibits which i've never really done either so the goal is hopefully between this zoo and that zoo, we can just kind of bring it all together and make one nice, beautiful aspect as well. But as for that, uh, guys, thanks for watching. 
I'm going to go ahead and let the music carry on, and I'll be back at the end of the video. Enjoy the, uh, the rest of the build.
Hey guys, welcome back. I'm back. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the build. Uh, it's pretty much finished. I think there's only a couple trees to put down in this kind of uh, back scenery area. And uh, yeah, you guys get me back for the last little minute or so. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the build. Uh, this was a lot of fun building. I've been really enjoying Africa. We just started doing Africa on the Big River Zoo because I did like eight straight Asian exhibits and I was tired of it and the Africa pack came out and all that. Hopefully uh, we get some more exciting creatures. Hopefully there's another pack or two in our lifetime here uh, before Planet Zoo stops producing content. Uh, so hopefully we get a lot more lifetime in that. Um, outside of that, we're gonna go ahead and probably slow it down here. I'm just gonna just check in to make sure everything's walkable and all that. And we'll give you a nice little slow look at the exhibit. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I had a lot of fun building this. I like the way the rocks turned out. The, the little rock wall separation was kind of something I thought of last minute to do the Africa Rocks area and all that. And I thought it came out really nice. Uh, other than that, guys, uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed the build. Uh, I had a lot of fun building this. Hopefully, this is the start of me going to be on YouTube a lot more frequently. A lot more... I don't want to say constructively, but <laughs> constructively... You know, and this is a nice return to YouTube and enjoying and producing content. More content for you guys to enjoy if you guys watch me on Twitch as well. And if you guys do enjoy this, uh, we do live stream on Twitch. Uh, the link's down below. Make sure you guys leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, have a great one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Much love. Toodles. And until next time, have a great one. Bye-bye now.